the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello. Gamer Nom is back. So for this video guys, we are going to reach 2nd C using a level 1 character with only combat style. So first question Gamer Nom, is that hard? From what I experienced, yes, it is very hard. So what are we waiting for? Let's start. Okay, so first off, we are gonna do the first quest in this game, which is to kill bandits. Okay, 5 bandits, so how do you do it? Just again, lure. Okay. So I'm gonna say FK here. Anyway, just lure. Attack, attack, attack until you level up. Just keep on luring, guys, until you reach level 10. If you're wondering for the stats, uh, two for every level up, 2 strength and 1 defense. Okay? So that's it. So when you reach level 10 or 12 for me, you can now go to the next island. Guys, I noticed how this character swims or it looks like it's walking in water, right? So they should improve that. <laughs> King Legacy swimming is better. <laughs> anyway, next up. Monkeys again, level 10 is required. So, gamer nom, same thing. You just need to lure them three at the time. There you go, and defeat them. Okay, so you will be doing that until you reach level 15. Okay, level 15, and that's it. Okay, so at level 15, you can start defeating the gorillas. The gorillas, they are located on the next island. There you go. So there you go. Again, how do you defeat them, Gamer Nom? Again, by luring. Okay, you only have one skill so far, the quick tackle, and that's enough. So you can lure four at a time. So two sets of gorillas to finish a quest. When you reach level 20, you can uh, fight the Gorilla King here and unlock the ground smash. Most likely, if you only use combat, there you go. You can unlock the ground smash, okay, at 20 mastery. Again, mastery is different from level, so you need, really need to level up your mastery before you can use his skills. Okay, okay, here we go, the Gorilla King. Oh, I see. It's going well. There go, our fight until this one comes. What's your name? Kayan Bro. But guys, with damage is enough. We were able to defeat it. We got experience, so everything is good. Do this until you reach level 30. And after that, you can now go to Pirate Village, there you go, and start defeating the Pirates. You need to defeat 8. Again guys, this is kinda hard, really hard when you're starting because there are lots of bullies in game. The only thing that you can do is be patient, server hop, see this guys, they keep on killing me, there you go. So if you cannot server hop, the servers are always full, then look for other areas. To farm okay okay there you go so defeat pirates until you reach level 40 why 40 gamer no because at 40 you can unlock the next quest the brute I'm gonna show you how to lure them okay don't mind that one so you need to defeat 10 brutes okay so defeat five at a time go lure one two three that's the third one fourth and fifth gamer no you can use a slingshot to, to lure them. Guys, I'm kinda saving money for our next combat style later. Okay. Okay, there you go. So you're gonna do this until you reach level 55. And after that, you can now start defeating Bobby or Boggy the Clown. There you go. So how can you defeat this? Just uh, dodge sideways. There you go. That slash, you need to dodge that. The damage of that is high. Go. How do you dodge that? There you go. Just uh, sideways. Dash sideways every time you have the chance. So after that, uh, defeat the clown until you reach level 60. But guys, uh, I stayed here until I got the money. 150,000 belly to buy the black leg. There you go. A dark step, sorry. From black leg Sanji. Dark leg Sanji or whatever you call it. There you go. Okay. So guys, again, we are level 60. But we only unlock one skill, the kicks combo. Again, you need to use it until you increase your mastery. So off we go to the next island, which is the desert. So you can start by desert bandits, but as you can see, there are lots of chests around this island, so make sure to get them before you start the quest. Okay, so you need to defeat eight. They're, they're almost 
uh, packed together so it's easy to lure there you go but at the start again our master is kind of low so you need to like dash and attack them to defeat them because kicks combo is not a good skill okay there you go just continue leveling up till you reach level 75 and now you can start defeating the desert officers oh, by the way when you reach 75 most likely you've already unlocked the second skill the break dance so i'm gonna show it to you don't worry there you go in this desert officer you need to defeat six so you can lure four at a time it depends on you if you want to defeat three or four okay here you go here's the break dance there you go guys really looks good but the damage is not that high but it's fine the more skills you unlock the stronger your character gets Again, there are four chests in the in this island, so make sure to collect them every time you have the chance. That's one, that's two, and there's three. And another one is located near the bridge. There you go. But it's not here, so I think we've collected it. Okay, so again, just do that. Level up until you reach level 90. And after that, you can now go to the next island, which is the Snow Village, right? Okay, Frozen Village, sorry. Guys, don't forget to buy all the things that really sells. The Sky Jump, the Armament, and the Flash Step. So the Sky Jump will let you jump lots of times. The Flash Step is the Soru, the Blink, and the last one is the Armament. Here you go. So let me show you the Sky Jump. This one, okay, see that? And let's try the Armament. Check this out. The damage is 12.6 without the armament. We're using the break dance. Now with the armament, the damage is 13.4. It really increased, right? Okay. So now we're gonna do the snow bandit quest. I'm gonna show you a strategy. Okay, so first let's lure it. There you go. You can lure five at a time. Okay. Exit skill and then go hide in the house. Guys, we're using really lots of strategies here because again, it's really hard when you're using combat only. No fruit. No sword, okay? There you go. As you can see, the, this video is so long, but we've reached second C. Don't worry. Okay, so keep on doing that until you reach 105. Because, guys, we're not gonna do this uh, snowman quest. Why? Because they're so far apart. And you need to kill like uh, 10, I guess? So that's, that's a no-no because only four snowmans spawn at a time. That's not good. So again guys, we will focus on the Yeti and the Snow Bandits. A technique for Yeti using combat style guys, just dodge. Don't stay on an area for so long because you need to avoid this. Check this out guys, check the damage. That's more than half of your HP. But again, I don't know why every time I kill a boss, there's someone helping us in a way, okay? <laughs> and most likely guys, by that time, we can unlock the third skill which is the Barrage. Guys, make sure to use this properly because if you got hit during the process, your barrage will stop, okay? So next island is this one, the Marine Ford. This area is one of the hardest areas to level up because the, the Petty Officer, Chief Petty officer, officer, we only have four in the whole island and they are far apart. After defeating these two, you can go in the other side, but I suggest just wait, okay? Because not like fruit users, our mobility is not that good, okay? So you really need to be patient. Just a reminder, we have lots of codes times two experience. I'll just put the link in the description, okay? Okay, so now when you reach level 130, you can start defeating the boss in this island, the Vice Admiral. Oh, what? There he is. Okay, so you can defeat him. Not that easy, but it is doable. Again, dodge those skills because it really has a high damage. Oh, by the way, you can buy a black cape here. There you go. For 50,000, you just saw the area, the tower, and continue leveling up. Okay, so now when you reach level 150, you cannot go to Sky Island. Guys, if you don't have the Sky Jump, you cannot go in this uh, island, okay? So now, we're gonna start by defeating the Sky Bandits. Okay, so is it easy? Yeah, it's kinda easy. Just free fall here, and you can see there. The one with the castle. There are four sky bandits here, so you need eight. Again, you just need to lure them. Four at a time, defeat them. And there you go. Okay, the dog again. It's like 1 p.m. here, so I think I need to feed it. Let's make this faster. 
Okay, so do that until you reach level 175 and after that you can now go to your next quest which is the Dark Master. Okay, so now Dark Masters are uh, kind of easy to defeat too compared to the previous one. There you go. Again, you need to defeat 8. You can lure 4 at a time. There you go. Just a reminder, buy the refined slingshot in the Marine Ford. You're gonna use it later, okay? But I'm not putting stats on my gun. When you reach level 175, most likely we will be unlocking the Devil. There you go. So, how does it look like? Check the feet, the foot. Okay, there you go. When you, when you use this 100 times or 150 times, both of your character's legs will be on fire and that increases damage. There you go. So, you're gonna do this until you reach 225 and after that, you're gonna go to the Coliseum. So, we're halfway there. Let's start by defeating the Toga Warriors. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, four, five, five Toga Warriors that you can lure, but you can just defeat 4 and 3. But it really depends on you. If you want 5, go for it and then wait for it to spawn. Okay? So you're gonna do this until you reach level 275. There you go. And you can now go to the Gladiators. Again, you need to defeat 8, so I'm gonna show you how to lure 4. 1, 2. Don't mind that. 3 and 4. Okay, now. Okay, use your skills to defeat them. There you go. And that's it. That's one set. You're gonna do this for two sets to, de to finish a quest. Okay, so now do this until you reach level 300. But wait, Gamer Nom, you missed the impel down. Guys, I did that on purpose. Why? Guys, we only have three mini bosses here. And after that, you need to wait for them to spawn again. And check this out, guys. I tried going here, and there's someone already defeating. Uh, what do you call this? The swan. So what should I do? I'll defeat this and wait for it to spawn. Guys, that guy there will surely defeat it. So I'm just wasting my time. So I focus on the gladiator, okay? So after the Coliseum, next up is the Magma Village. So there you go. So just save there and let's start with the military soldiers. So there are uh, five here. You can lure. Oh, you need to defeat 9, so most likely you should lure all 5 of them. Someone is missing here, but that's how you do it. Lure 2 and 3. Defeat them here near the bridge. You go 5 at a time, so that on the next spawn, you need to kill only 4. And that's one set. So you're gonna do this until you reach level 330, and after that, you can now go to the military spies. So, so you need to defeat 8. You can lure 4 at a time. And compared to the military soldiers, these mobs are easier to defeat. So don't worry about that. Okay, so just keep on defeating them until you reach level 350. And after that, you can now go and beat the Magma Admiral, Akainu. So, so how do you defeat this? Just move sideways again. Dash sideways, side, side, side until it uses a skill. That skill and then attack it. After that, side, side, side. Wait for it to use a skill and then attack it. Okay? Okay, and that's how you defeat it. Okay, now go back to the spice, level up until you reach level 375. And after that, you can now go to the underwater city, the Mermaid Island. In terms of level, we're, we're halfway there, okay? So here is the location. Guys, this area is very easy. You can level up here fast. First is the Fishman Warrior. You need to defeat 8, and there are 7, but it's just lure 4, okay? And defeat it twice to finish a quest. There you go. So by this time, you can now unlock the version 2 of Devil. Again, both feet are on fire. There you go. That's, uh, that's what I'm talking about. There you go. So now, when you reach level 400, you can now start the next quest, which is the Fishman Commando. Again, you can lure 6 at a time, but you only need 5 because you need 9 to finish a quest. Okay? Five is enough because you will be waiting for others to spawn. There you go. That's how you lure. Defeat. Okay. Okay. So do this again, guys, until you reach level 425. And by this time, you can now defeat the Fishman Lord. Guys, again, the moment that it uses its spear, make sure to dodge it and after that, attack him. Try not to die because its HP will regenerate fast. Okay, just do the sideways. Okay, after that, attack him and everything will be good. Okay? 
Okay, so now do this, defeat the commandos, defeat this until you reach level 450 and you can go back to Sky Island. But the, on the upper yard, okay? So just jump, here we go, this part. There you go. For those asking, you don't need a fruit to do that, okay? So first up, the go God's Guard. Guys, here, I kind of leveled up the refined slingshot because we're gonna need it on the next part of the level up phase. There you go. It's very easy to lure them six at a time. You need seven to finish a quest, okay? So we're gonna do this until you reach 475. And there you go. Make sure your slingshot has already unlocked the second skill, the explosive Spell it. There you go. We're gonna use it here. Boom. Okay. Okay, there you go. So now we can start our quest here with the Shanda. You need to defeat again. Nine. You can lure five at a time and defeat them. There you go. It's kind of easy. And after that, you can level up until 500 to start defeating the Whisper. Guys, you can start leveling up on the next part of this island when you reach 525. Oops. A bully. No, it helped us in a way. There you go. Again, continue leveling up until 4 525. Now you can start defeating the Royal Guards. We're almost there, guys. Second to the last area. There you go. Okay, so lure five at a time. Yes, you can do that. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and after that, you can use your Dark Step to defeat the Royal Guards. Okay, oh, sorry, Royal Squads. <laughs> Sorry, sorry guys. Those are royal squads. So do this until you reach level 550 and now you can go to the royal soldiers. Okay, so here, the technique here, you can lure three at a time, defeat them, and go to the next two. Okay, why? You need to defeat eight. So first, defeat the three, defeat the two, and after that, most likely the three uh, previous enemies that you defeated have already spawned. Right? Okay, so that's the process. Do this until you reach... 575 and now you can defeat the thunder god for those commenting it's very hard guys i'm gonna show you how to defeat it use your skills side 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 it's gonna use a skill now use your skill side 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 it's gonna use a skill after that use your skill there you go guys make sure to hit him every after he uses a skill why if you don't damage him its hp will regenerate just like the uh, fishman lord okay okay after we defeat him easily, yes guys, easily, <laughs> continue leveling up until you reach 625. And after that, finally guys, we are moving to our final destination. Actually, this is not the final destination. Fountain City. We still have a quest to go after this. First, Galley Pirate. Guys, we will not defeat the Galley Captains. Why? Guys, those dudes are strong. <laughs> and they are far apart, so it will just make it longer for us. Again, we have codes that you can use for times 2 guys. I think we have 8, eight codes for 2 times XP each for 20 minutes. And that's enough. So this is how you lure them. Okay, there you go. Defeat 4 at a time. Defeat them twice. 2 sets to finish a quest. But we're gonna do this until we reach 675. And after reaching this, we can now start challenging the cyborg. Guys, this one is a tough dude. Make sure to dodge the gun. Wait. That one, okay, and everything will be good. Again, sideways, dash, that one, okay. So there you go. After we defeat this, just keep leveling up until you reach level 700. Again, was it really hard? Yes, it is hard. It's hard to level up without fruit. I've experienced it firsthand. So there you go. When you reach 700, okay, sorry, it's raining now. Let's make this fast. Let's wrap it up. You can now go to Impel Down, okay? And talk to this dude, the military detective. He will ask you to go to the frozen village, okay? And go to the cave where you bought the uh, enhancement. Use your key and fight the Ice Admiral. It's kind of easy to defeat this. Don't worry about that. You can do it. Just use the side dash, right? Even without observation hockey, we can defeat this. Gamer Nom, why didn't you get the... Observation Aki. Guys, I don't need that to finish this, okay? But if you want, I'll get it on my next video. Speaking of my next video about King Legacy, I will be doing the Light Fruit, okay? Light Fruit, level 1 noob, so better be ready, guys, okay? Okay, so after defeating this, you will go back to the military detective, and after that, he will ask you to go to the middle town. 
we're almost done with this. There you go. Go to the middle down, and you will be talking to the experienced pirate. Oh, sorry, experienced captain, and he will teleport you to the second seat. Okay, so that will be it, guys, for this video. It's kind of long, but I hope that you appreciate it. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out. By the way, guys, sorry for the rain. It's raining hard now. <laughs>